Okay guys, Mike from Boyer Bows here. Finally, I think this uh, glue is dry, cured. So what I do is I take the block sander, some heavy grit, and just give a, a light sanding, just to knock it down a little bit. It's kind of bumpy when it first comes off. Uh, mostly because I just use so much glue. And I just want to get it sanded down. I just want to get it sanded down. Um, to the point that uh, this, the skins I'm going to put on it are going to look good. Oops, did I just give away the fact that the special backing I'm doing are going to be some special skins? I did. Well, okay. And then I have been flexing this thing a bit. As you can see, there are some stress lines in the glue. Um, I haven't really experienced that before, to be honest with you. This, uh, this thing was... was just floor tiller and I just started bending it and I may have gone a little too much but these stress lines are in the glue and not the sinew really so I think they're okay um, I don't love it but what I'm gonna do after I sand it I'm gonna put another very light coat of glue over the top just to knock everything back down I'm gonna heat this up too and that'll help liquefy this a little bit but uh, mostly I'm just going to go really, really light coat over the top of this. And then uh, almost like I'm sizing the wood before I put the skins down. If you remember that term from uh, some of my other videos where I put snake skins on the bow. The other thing is uh, when I'm done, I'm going to flip it over and start reducing the bellies of the bow. And start the tillering process. <clears throat> and... Uh, I'll show you how to do that. I do that when the time comes, but for now, I'm going to hit it with a little glue, finish sanding it down. It's feeling pretty smooth at the moment. I may sand it a little more, and then I'm going to hit these stress lines with a little more glue. Actually, the whole limb with just a very, very light coat of glue, and uh, let it sit, and then we'll uh, we'll start tillering. But uh, this this thing should be done in a couple of days guys so stay tuned there are going to be a lot of videos coming at you real quick uh, let's take a look at what the bow looks like at the moment it's uh... this is what it looks like when it came out of the form I've already reduced the bellies a little bit just to get the glue off there are the fades and sanding and here's the back side of it and there you go and uh, I think I'm gonna put the glue on and then we're gonna take a quick look in the mirror see how we're tillering the tillering is going alright we'll see you in a little bit this is Mike from Boyer Bows 